Hello, my friends. Uh, it's almost New Year, and uh, wanted to share with you some of the fitness goals that I have for the year 2019. I try to um, challenge myself each year with a, a new fitness goal, even if that means drinking more water. Yes. Uh, sometimes we actually have to plan to drink more water. I don't naturally like water, so I have to be <laughs> I have to be intentional about drinking water. 2019 is up on us, and I have two fitness goals. Two things that I'll be focusing on in additional in addition to of course uh, my usual uh, fitness goals so I want to work on my tummy most of us if not all of us have excuses about one thing or the other we <laughs> we feel we can't um, do without meat or we can't do without snacking or we can't do without eating at night or we can't find the time to exercise for three days a week all kinds of I can't I can't I can't my I can't um, has been that I cannot jog for years I would have this itchy 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 skin whenever I tried to jog for exercise and I just never did it. It was one of my goals for 2018 and yay, I accomplished it. I am able to jog for about a mile and I do. I don't run, I jog a, a slow trot like a horse, you know? And um, I do so on, uh, on dirt, grass, uh, never on concrete. I remember some years ago when I used to have knee problems, I had a personal trainer at the gym and he told me that, you know, jogging on concrete and on the road was never good, was too much on the knees. So I, I don't do that. But when I jog on grass, on dirt, um, sand, yeah, doesn't bother my knee. And yes, 2019, 2018, I have been able to jog. Yay! And believe me, it's not as easy as walking. It does challenge you, okay? Um, so that will flow into 2019. I'd like to jog a farther distance. If I could bump it up to like an, a mile and a half. That would be super. So that's one of my goals for 2019. My other goal is to work on my tummy. Okay. So I am at a good weight. Um, I wear a size 4 to 6 dress. And uh, smalls. Small, never medium. Small clothes. And so I feel really good. And when I put my clothes on, I look good. And I feel really good and confident. But the tummy has been a challenge. Yeah, the tummy has been a challenge. And I have to be really honest, I don't work my tummy. And last year, I had set a, a little bit of a goal. <laughs> um, I didn't write it down. I just said, you know, I need to work on my tummy. And I think I did it for about two months and that was it. But I am serious about 2019. I'm going to, I, I downloaded a couple workout videos from YouTube um, from a site called HasFit and they look very doable. I started last night and uh, they're not, you know, sometimes when we overdo things we become discouraged and I think that's what I did last year. I started off full speed, okay? <laughs> So I'm going to try to be like the tortoise this time, slow and steady, winning the race of toning and flattening my tummy 
and building some nice muscles there. Because when I look at it right now, it's flabby. And uh, that's not good. And whenever, you, when, whenever we have a nice, toned, muscular tummy, we avoid um, back pain. A tight core helps us to stand and sit erect and avoid back pain. So those are my two fitness goals that I wanted to share with you to jog a little longer, an hour, and, I mean, sorry, a mile and a half, slow jog. <clears throat> and, um, and even pick up the pace in between, <coughs> excuse me, and also to flatten and tone my tummies, my tummy. I am going to work my tummy every day for five to 10 minutes. That is my goal. I also um, want to do what's called wall sit because that helps to tone the tummy and also works on my, uh, bice on my um, thighs at the same time. So those are my goals. I hope you've set some fitness goals for yourself for this year and challenge yourself. You will not regret it. You will look good and feel confident and that helps you mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. All right, take care. God bless you till we meet again.